Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Akara. Deep-fried black-eyed pea fritters, often enjoyed as a snack. Akara, also known as Akara, is a popular street food in Senegal and many other West African countries. It's a delicious deep-fried snack made from black-eyed peas or black-eyed pea flour. Akara is often enjoyed as a tasty and filling snack or appetizer. Here's how it's typically prepared. Ingredients. Black-eyed peas. You'll need dried black-eyed peas. Soak them overnight, and then peel off the skins to get the white inner peas. Alternatively, you can use black-eyed pea flour, which eliminates the need for soaking and peeling. Onion. A small onion, finely chopped. Scotch bonnet pepper. Optional, but it adds some heat. Be cautious, as scotch bonnet peppers are quite spicy. Salt. To taste. Oil. For deep frying, peanut oil is commonly used. Instructions. Prepare the peas. If using whole black-eyed peas, soak them in water overnight. After soaking, peel off the skins to reveal the white peas inside. This peeling process can be a bit time-consuming but results in a smoother texture. Blend the peas. Place the peeled black-eyed peas, chopped onion, and scotch bonnet pepper, if using, in a food processor. Blend until you have a smooth paste. You can add a little water if needed to help with blending, but don't make it too watery. Season. Add salt to taste and mix it into the blended mixture. Heat the oil. In a deep frying pan or a deep fryer, heat the peanut oil to about 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 minus 190 degrees Celsius. Fry the akara. Carefully drop spoonfuls of the black-eyed pea mixture into the hot oil. The size of each akara can vary, but they are typically about the size of a small donut hole. Fry until they are golden brown and crispy, which should take about 3 to 5 minutes. Make sure the oil is hot enough to avoid the akara from absorbing too much oil. Drain and serve. Remove the akara from the oil using a slotted spoon and place them on paper towels to drain off excess oil. Akara is often served with spicy pepper sauce or a dipping sauce made from ingredients like tomatoes, onions, and scotch bonnet peppers. It's a popular snack enjoyed by both locals and visitors in Senegal and throughout West Africa. Yasa Poulet. Grilled chicken marinated in a tangy onion and lemon sauce, served with rice. Yasa poulet is a flavorful and popular Senegalese chicken dish that's known for its tangy and aromatic sauce. It's a perfect representation of the vibrant and diverse cuisine of Senegal. Here's how to make yasa poulet. Ingredients. For the chicken. 4 to 6 pieces of chicken, legs, thighs, or a whole chicken cut into parts. 2 to 3 onions, thinly sliced. 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 to 2 teaspoons of Dijon mustard, optional. Juice of 2 to 3 lemons. 2 to 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Salt and black pepper to taste. For the marinade, 2 to 3 onions, thinly sliced. 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 2 to 3 hot peppers, such as scotch bonnet or habanero, minced, adjust to your preferred level of spiciness. 1 teaspoon of thyme. 1 teaspoon of dried oregano. 1 teaspoon of paprika. 1 half cup of vegetable oil. Juice of 2 to 3 lemons. Salt and black pepper to taste. Instructions. Marinate the chicken. In a large bowl, combine the chicken pieces with the marinade ingredients. Sliced onions, minced garlic, minced hot peppers, thyme, oregano, paprika, vegetable oil, lemon juice, salt, and black pepper. Ensure the chicken is well coated with the marinade. Cover the bowl and let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least a few hours, preferably overnight, for the flavors to meld. Cook the chicken. Heat a large, heavy bottomed pot or skillet over medium-high heat. Add 2 to 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Remove the chicken from the marinade. Reserve the marinade, and brown it on all sides in the hot oil. This should take about 5 to 7 minutes. Remove the chicken from the pot and set it aside. Prepare the yasa sauce. In the same pot, add the thinly sliced onions and cook them until they become soft and translucent, about 5 to 7 minutes. Stir in the minced garlic and continue to cook for another minute or so, until fragrant. Pour in the reserved marinade, including the sliced onions and spices. Add the Dijon mustard, if using. Bring the sauce to a simmer and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, allowing it to thicken and develop flavor. Return the chicken. Return the browned chicken pieces to the pot with the simmering sauce. Ensure they are well coated. 
reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and let the chicken simmer in the sauce for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked, tender, and has absorbed the flavors of the sauce. Nem. Senegalese spring rolls filled with ground meat, vegetables, and spices. Nem. Is a popular snack or appetizer in Senegal and many other West African countries. These fried spring rolls are known for their crispy exterior and flavorful fillings. While they share some similarities with Asian spring rolls, West African nem has its unique twist with regional ingredients and flavors. Here's how you can make Senegalese-style nem. Ingredients. For the filling. Ground meat. Common choices include ground beef, chicken, or a mixture of both. Onions. Finely chopped onions are used for flavor. Garlic. Minced garlic adds aromatic depth. Chilies. Optional, for some heat. Scotch bonnet or habanero chilies are commonly used. Vegetables. Finely shredded cabbage and carrots are often included. Bouillon cube. A bouillon cube or seasoning cube for added flavor. Salt and pepper. To taste. Oil. For sautéing. For the wrappers. Spring roll wrappers. You can find these in most Asian or international grocery stores. Flour paste. A mixture of flour and water to seal the wrappers. Instructions. Prepare the filling. In a large skillet, heat some oil over medium-high heat. Add the chopped onions, minced garlic, and chilies if using. Sauté until the onions become translucent. Add the ground meat and bouillon cube to the skillet. Cook until the meat is browned and cooked through. Stir in the shredded cabbage and carrots. Cook for a few more minutes until the vegetables are tender. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Assemble the nem. Place one spring roll wrapper on a clean surface, with one corner pointing toward you, forming a diamond shape. Spoon a portion of the meat and vegetable mixture onto the bottom corner of the wrapper. Fold the bottom corner over the filling, then fold in the sides, and roll up tightly into a neat spring roll. Use a little flour paste to seal the edge. Fry the nem. Heat vegetable oil in a deep skillet or pot for frying. The oil should be hot, around 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 minus 190 degrees Celsius. Carefully place the nem into the hot oil, a few at a time, and fry until they are golden brown and crispy, which should take about 3 to 4 minutes. Make sure not to overcrowd the pot. Remove the fried nem with a slotted spoon and place them on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Dakar Burger a Senegalese take on a hamburger, often featuring grilled meat or fish. The Dakar burger is a Senegalese version of a hamburger that has been adapted to include local flavors and ingredients. It's a delicious fusion of Western fast food and Senegalese cuisine. Here's how to make a Dakar burger. Ingredients. For the burger patties. Ground meat. You can use ground beef, lamb, chicken, or a combination of these meats. Onions. Finely chopped onions add flavor and moisture to the patties. Garlic. Minced garlic enhances the burger's taste. Spices. Common spices include cumin, paprika, black pepper, and salt. Egg. An egg serves as a binding agent for the patties. For the burger assembly. Burger buns. Choose your favorite type of burger buns. Lettuce. Fresh lettuce leaves, such as romaine or iceberg. Tomatoes. Sliced tomatoes add freshness. Onions. Thinly sliced raw onions can be used. Mayonnaise. As a sauce base. Ketchup. For a touch of sweetness and tang. Mustard. Adds a slightly spicy kick. Hot sauce. Optional, for those who like it spicy. Cheese. Slices of cheese, such as Swiss or cheddar, optional. Instructions. Prepare the burger patties. In a mixing bowl, combine the ground meat, finely chopped onions, minced garlic, spices, cumin, paprika, black pepper, and salt, and an egg. Mix the ingredients thoroughly until well combined. Form the mixture into burger patties of your desired size and thickness. Ensure they are evenly shaped. Cook the burger patties. Heat a grill or stovetop skillet over medium-high heat. Place the burger patties on the grill or skillet and cook to your desired level of doneness. Cooking times will vary depending on the thickness of the patties and your preferred level of doneness. If you're adding cheese, place a slice of cheese on each patty a minute or so before removing them from the heat, allowing it to melt. Assemble the Dakar burger. Split the burger buns in half. Spread mayonnaise on the bottom bun and ketchup and mustard on the top bun. Layer the lettuce, tomato slices, and raw onions on the bottom bun. Place the cooked burger patty, 
with or without melted cheese, on top of the veggies. Drizzle hot sauce on the patty if you desire some heat. Place the top bun with the condiments on top of the patty to complete the burger. Shawarma. A Senegalese version of the Middle Eastern shawarma, with seasoned meat and pita bread. Shawarma, also spelled shawarma, is a popular street food in many countries, known for its delicious, savory flavors. It typically consists of thinly sliced marinated meat, such as beef, lamb, chicken, or a combination, cooked on a vertical rotisserie. The cooked meat is usually served in a pita bread or flatbread wrap and accompanied by a variety of toppings and sauces. Here's how you can make a basic chicken shawarma at home. Ingredients. For the chicken marinade. 500 grams, about 1 pound, of boneless, skinless chicken thighs or breasts, thinly sliced. 2 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon ground coriander. 1 teaspoon ground paprika. 1 half teaspoon ground turmeric. 1 quarter teaspoon ground cinnamon. Salt and black pepper to taste. Juice of 1 lemon. 2 tablespoons plain yogurt. 2 tablespoons olive oil. For the garlic sauce. 1 half cup plain yogurt. 2 cloves of garlic, minced. Juice of 1 lemon. Salt and black pepper to taste. For assembling. Pita bread or flatbreads. Sliced tomatoes. Sliced cucumbers. Sliced red onions. Fresh parsley or cilantro leaves. Pickles, optional. Instructions. Marinate the chicken. In a bowl, combine the minced garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, ground paprika, ground turmeric, ground cinnamon, salt, black pepper, lemon juice, plain yogurt, and olive oil. Add the thinly sliced chicken to the marinade and ensure it's well coated. Cover and refrigerate for at least one hour, allowing the flavors to meld. Cook the chicken. Preheat a grill or skillet over medium-high heat. Thread the marinated chicken slices onto skewers or place them directly on the grill or skillet. Cook the chicken for about 3 to 4 minutes on each side or until it's fully cooked and has a nice char. Remove the cooked chicken from the skewers or skillet and let it rest for a few minutes. Prepare the garlic sauce. In a small bowl, combine the plain yogurt, minced garlic, lemon juice, salt, and black pepper. Mix well to create the garlic sauce. Assemble the shawarma. Warm the pita bread or flatbreads. Place a generous amount of the garlic sauce on each bread. Add the cooked chicken, sliced tomatoes, sliced cucumbers, sliced red onions, fresh parsley or cilantro leaves, and pickles if desired. 